Good morning, everyone. God bless you all. As you join in with worshiping God this morning, then we'll talk about He restores my soul. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and let us be glad in it. Please share the video. He's bread. 
great. Good morning, Biola. Yes, Evelyn, I'm trying. <laughs> it is another day journey and we are excited about what God is going to do today. It is another day's journey. He's been faithful to each and every one of us. Let's begin to thank him for another day. Thank him for clothing us in our right minds. Thank him for the activities of our limbs. Let's begin to thank the Lord because he is so awesome and he's worthy to be praised. And he is the best thing that ever, 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 ever happened to me. Oh, good morning, Miss Smith. Thank you for your prayers. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Jesus, you are the center of my joy. This morning I titled this, good morning, Sandy. I titled this morning, Moment of Inspiration. I titled it, He Restoreth My Soul. My soul. Have you ever been in a situation in your life when you just needed to be restored? You almost gave up. You almost let go. You felt you were overwhelmed. We talked about that the other day. You're overwhelmed. You could take a vacation. You could take a vacation. But after the vacation, you come back and you still are tired. <laughs> so a vacation didn't do it for you. You needed to be restored. Another translation says he needed he re refreshed my soul. He revives my soul. That's Psalm 23, verse 3. He restoreth my soul. There are circumstances in our lives where we must be restored. And the only one who can restore us fully is the God of the heavens and the earth, Jehovah Jireh our provider, the God who is more than enough, the I am that I am, the one who is our sufficiency. I'm talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one who died just for us, the one who went all the way to the cross just for us. He is the only one who has the ability or the capacity to restore our souls. Some of us are going through various storms in our lives. Going through on the job. Going through in our families. Going through in our churches. Going through in our health. Going through in our lives. And we just need to stand still for a moment and take a deep breath, relax, and allow the Lord to restore our soul, to revive us again. The Bible records in Job chapter 42, Job chapter 42, and we know Job went through the storm and the rain. My God. He lost everything he had. And the Bible said he was upright. He wasn't even doing anything wrong. But there came a time in Job's life when he had to be restored. And the Bible records in Job chapter 42. It records that after Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored him. And he got double for his trouble. 
See, when you allow God to restore you or to revive your soul, I'm talking about your soul, your innermost being, your soul needs to be restored sometimes. When you allow God to restore your soul, he'll give you double for your trouble. <laughs> And sometimes you have to pray for somebody else and the Lord will work out everything in your life. The Bible says, after Job prayed for his friends, he restored him and he gave him double than what he started with. So who have you prayed for lately? Who have you helped out lately? Who have, whose problem have you solved lately? Is all of your prayers, are all of your prayers centered around you? Or have you extended your prayers and begin to make intercession and to carry one another's burdens? Because after Job prayed for his friends, the Bible says in Job 42 that he, I believe verse 10, but I'm not for sure about that verse. Job 42, somebody check that out for me. After he prayed for his friends, the Lord restored him. Not only did he restore Job, but David had some situations in his life where he needed to be restored too. And he penned that text in Psalm 23, verse 3. He restoreth my soul. Sometimes we need to stop, stand still, take our hands off of it. Take our hands off of the matter. I was speaking with someone the other day and he said, We know all of the scriptures. We know that we're supposed to cast all of our burdens unto the Lord and leave them there because he cares for us. But what is it inside of the human being that has the, the will to want to do it and fix it and put their hands back on it and, and you cannot let it go. You cannot leave it there. Something down on the inside wants to cause us to worry about it. And I don't know if we'll ever answer that question fully until we see the Father <laughs> one day. But you have to determine that you will allow the Lord to restore your soul. Leave it, leave everything else alone. Relax. Allow God to do it. David cried out unto the Lord in one of the Psalms and he says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And renew a right spirit within me. So that helps me to understand that though you may be great, David was a great man, a man after God's own heart. There will be some times in your life where you need to be refreshed. And the refresher will refresh each and every one of you who's watching me now and who is will watch the replay. If you would just lift up your hands wherever you are, the power of the living God will come into your situation. He'll come and restore your soul. He'll, he will cause you to forget about everything that's going on wrong in your life and begin to allow you to begin to count your many blessings and you can think about who God is and how he's blessed you and how he's kept us and how he never left us he's never left, left us alone he just keeps on keeping us and the Bible declares the Bible declares thank you Sandy thank you so much for, for confirming that scripture he will flow over you. There will be a fresh wind of the anointing. He'll blow over your soul once again. Just like he blew into you in Genesis and he gave you the breath of life. 
He'll begin to blow loose breath into you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will renew our souls. He will revive us. He will ignite our fires again. The fire cannot go out on your altar. I said the fire cannot go out on your altar. But the fire, God is burning, it's burning again. He's restoring you even now. He's restoring you now. I said the Lord is restoring you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. He restoreth our souls. All we have to do is look unto him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. And let us not be weary in well-doing, Galatians 96, and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap. Just hold on, the Lord is restoring every situation that needs to be restored in your life. He is restoring your marriage. He's restoring your joy. He's restoring your peace. He's restoring your health. No sickness can stay in the temple of the Almighty God. He's too holy. He's too holy. So if there's an intruder in your body, we have to declare the the intruder is trespassing and he has to get out of your body. He has to get out of your mind. He has to get out of your spirit because the spirit of the living God is falling fresh on each and every one of us even now. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh, fall fresh, fall fresh, fall fresh, fall fresh, fall fresh on each and every one of us. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, O oh God, for restoring our souls. Thank you, O oh God. We thank you for healing our bodies. We thank you, O oh God, for making us new, restoring us back to our rightful position. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just thought of the prodigal son. The Spirit just brought up the prodigal son. He had to come to himself and he realized why am I eating slop? Why am I eating the pig's, the pig's food when I am a child of the king? Let me go back to my father's house and I'll tell him sorry. Sorry for what I've done. Sorry for uh, blowing everything. Father, restore unto me my rightful position. Put me back to the place where I once was. To be restored says that I once was this, and now God is going to restore me back to my rightful position in Him. You may have been a, a, a see if you were driving your car, and I'm going, you were driving your car and you may have gotten a ticket, and they may have taken your driver's license. You, they took your driver's license. But after you go through a season of whatever it is, you can get your license restored. You can get your license put back to its rightful position. And, and the Lord is restoring you back to your rightful position even now as I'm talking. Oh, it may take a little bit of work, but God will restore unto you the joy of your salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Son of the living God, our chief cornerstone, our anchor, our will in the middle of a will, our way where there is no way, our source, our strength. He's everything we need him to be and then some. Oh my God. All we have to do is lean and depend on him. Put our trust in him. In all our ways, we have to acknowledge him and he will direct our path. He will make every crooked place straight. In your life, he will restore you back to your rightful position. Oh my God. And when the prodigal son came back, the father didn't look at him in disgust. The father didn't say, look what you did. The father said, look how you wasted all my money. But he said, thank God you came back home. <laughs> thank God my son is back. Kill the fatted calf. <laughs> We're going to celebrate because my child.
child who was lost has come home. Restoration has finally come. Restoration has finally come. I said restoration has finally come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh my God, I got to go see my patients. But I feel like God is restoring somebody on today. The Lord he has already restored your soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. And now I'm waiting for the testimonies. I'm waiting to hear what God is doing. I'm waiting to hear how God has, has brought you back to your position in Him. God bless you all. I love you all. Share the video. Go out and, sh and show Christ. Declare who God is to everybody you meet. God, we, and in Jesus' name we have prayed. God bless you all. I love you. Share the video.